Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be making the iconic pair of brown patchwork jeans that have been floating around the internet. They've been literally everywhere so I thought it'd be fun to try to make them because I've done a few DIYs here on my channel and I've had a lot of fun with them. So this will be like a thrift flip I guess because I got three pairs of jeans from Goodwill and one of them is Guess so if it triggers you that I'm coming up expensive jeans I'm sorry but so I have these white ones and then these like medium they're like toffee colored I guess these are my base pair the pair that actually fits me best and then these giant brown ones so I think I'm gonna have some extra fabric left I don't know if I want to make like a matching top or something but here are my jeans so I'm gonna try to walk you through I've never done this so it'll be a learning experience for me but I watched a few videos so hopefully I do it right but let's head down into the craft room to start working on these the first step really is just to jump into pinning on uh, the pieces of the jeans at the top. I kind of just lined them up to see what fits best and I made sure to keep the back of the guest side with the little metal logo thing, whatever that's called. I just wanted to like include that detail. If you want to follow the iconic pair of jeans, you can, but I kind of just did it my own way because it wasn't exactly uh, fitting into including the guest logo on it. So I kind of just winged it my own way, which I don't know. It was fun. I think it turned out great. You kind of just pin things on. I'm really bad at explaining this. And then I seam ripped all the way up the inside of the leg. Well, not all the way a few inches from the crotch which I would recommend seam ripping up as far as you can because it makes the sewing so much easier. I made the mistake of not seam ripping all the way up or almost all the way up I guess and it was kind of a disaster trying to sew it on. It was really difficult. Just plan ahead and try to seam rip very far up into the leg. Next, you kind of just pin on pieces wherever you want. It's really exactly what you want to do because I just did random. You could follow that picture. I did not, but whatever you want to do in this step. Next, you really just move on to sewing it on. I just did a top stitch around the edge and try to make it as straight as possible and keep the fabric flat underneath it without sewing through any other layers, which I accidentally did sew through the pockets a few times and to the other side of the jeans. So I did have to do a little bit of rearranging and taking out, but just generally like sew around the edges of the pieces that you pinned on. Um, it's kind of hard to explain because it's really just however you want to do it. I like that this project can be messy. Um, of course, I wanted it to be all like sewn on correctly, so it did take me a long time to do this project, but it's really just whatever you want to do with it. So I just finished the tedious sewing on the patches. It did get really, really rough at some points um, because the machine just couldn't fit over some of the bumps. So I do have quite a good deal of hand sewing that I'm gonna have to do like here. I couldn't put the zipper on. Um, there's just like a bunch of patches that I need to touch up that I couldn't fit under. So I would recommend seam ripping as far up as you can on the inside just to make your job of sewing the patches on easier. Um, I think it does look pretty good. I do need to do some like trimming of extra fabric and of course hand sewing, but after I'm done hand sewing, I'm going to be pinning up the legs and sewing them and then I think they'll be done. So I'm going to touch up the corners that are coming off and then I will see you guys pinning up the legs.
Then I just went around and trimmed off any excess fabric around the inside of the leg and I sewed the legs together by flipping them inside out and pinning up the inside of the legs and just sewing a straight line. It was pretty easy. That was probably the easiest part of the project to be honest. Then I trimmed off any more excess fabric and trimmed off all the threads, put fray check on them so hopefully the threads don't fray. I'm encouraging fraying on all the squares but I just want to make sure that it doesn't physically come apart. That's basically how I did it but yours will probably be a little bit different because this is a super super unstructured sewing project. So the jeans are done and I'm very happy with how they came out. Um, I'm not sure they were worth the seven hours I spent on them, but it was a fun experience. I feel like I got better at sewing, maybe. Um, I don't know, but it was definitely challenging at some points because I had to do a lot of hand sewing when the machine couldn't handle stuff. So um, it was a really fussy, I guess. I don't know if I would recommend this project um, because just of how like time consuming it was trying to get everything on straight. It's probably better just to buy them to be honest, but it was a fun thrift flip. I got to, you know, repurpose some nice jeans, pretty nice jeans, I guess. Um, guess, haha. I do like the um, guest logo on the back though. I think that's a pretty cool detail to have on them. I'm not quite sure how I'm supposed to style this except with like this jean jacket and this black shirt because I don't own any brown at all. The like two brown things I own are not the right shade. So still trying to find out how to style it probably just with like a white top or something. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me <laughs> struggle to make these and then kind of be successful, I guess. So yeah, um, make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts and check out my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts and my book at GetOutdoorsBook.com and I will see you guys later. Bye!